Hello, this is Dr. Rick Hofer, the instructor for the course and the co-author of the book, Essentials of Social Work Management and Leadership. I'd like to explain for a bit the Reflections paper for Social Work 5320 Advanced Administration. The Reflection paper is an important part of your master's level career because self-reflection is a significant part of a professional social worker's growth. It's a basic cornerstone for the development of the professional self, which is the foundation for evolving professional maturation. Especially as a CAP student and a future administrator, this is an important transition for many social work students from thinking of themselves as a direct practitioner to an administrator or manager, or hopefully at some point an executive director. So we're trying to help you think about your professional identity as a macro social worker. It's necessary to develop these critical analytical skills, including the ability to be self-analytical, feeling good about your strengths, while also understanding and pinpointing and taking action where improvements can be made. So what's actually in the reflection paper for this course, Social Work 5320 Advanced Administration? These are the things that you need to deal with in this course's reflection paper. You may have reflection papers in other courses, but for Social Work 5320, this is what's expected. Students will reflect upon and critique their conduct and learning during this semester in this class in the following areas. First, pretend that you are your own HR human resources manager. What sort of honest self-evaluation would you give yourself for your work in the class? You know I've been giving you my evaluation as, as the semester has gone along, but it could be that your reflection and your thought about your own behavior is either better or worse, or the, you know, it could be the same as mine. So think about it carefully from your own perspective. For example, do you feel that you've demonstrated the ability to read carefully and think critically? Have you put adequate time and effort into your online posts and other papers? As an overall assessment, what grade would you give yourself and why? In addition, these are the other topics to cover with separate subheadings in your reflections paper. Where do you feel you've grown as a result of this class in terms of your future career? Where do you still experience challenges in terms of becoming a social work manager and leader? And what is your current desire to continue into social work administration and management? Do you want to become a social work leader? If you do want to continue into social work administration or other aspects of macro practice, where will you find your joy in this management career? Be sure and refer to the information in the textbook about the joy of social work management. These are the topics that should go into your reflections paper. And I look forward to reading this. This is always one of the most fun assignments for me as the instructor to see where the students have come and where they're ending. And it's always a joy for me in helping students move in their career. Many of you already have a career in social work, but it may not be in the management side. So that's what I'm looking for. So as a final thank you for the course, I have enjoyed being your instructor and I look forward to reading your reflection paper.